Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean up your audio quickly and professionally using Strip Silence feature in Studio One Seven. Whether you're working on vocals, podcast, or drum tracks, this feature saves a ton of time by removing all that dead space automatically. So let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your audio event is selected in the timeline. Right now we're gonna be working on this. I just did this vocal take and these are my ad libs. I'm gonna click on just one of the ad libs just to show you how this feature works. What we want to do is clean up all of the space that's in between these ad libs. We don't need this space. There could be breaths in between here. There could be talking. There could be all kinds of different noises that we don't want in here because then it just clutters up the track and it clutters up the low end. We want to get rid of all of that. So first things first, all we want to do is come up here to the top menu bar and we want to look for this guy right here, Strip Silence. We're going to click on that and it's going to open up a bunch of options. So when we go to material detection, we can either uh, determine if we want to remove and have lots of silence in our tracks, little silence in our tracks, we want to get rid of all the noise floor in our tracks, or we want to do it manually. Now, I've done this a few times, and I'm just going to be you know, giving my personal opinion on this. I think manual is the way to go because you can really dial it in and get a clean sounding strip silence every single time. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's click on manual. So you want to look at your waveform here and we're going to zoom in. We make sure that these are little breaths and this is the performance and we don't want to cut off anything. We don't want to cut off any of this stuff. So we want to make sure that our strip silence is start or ends over here and starts kind of over here. So we have a little bit of room and a little bit of fade in and a little bit of fade out so that we're not ruining any of the performances whatsoever. With open threshold, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this very, very short, probably let's do, let's do 30. And we can actually just change these. If you double click, you could change it. I'm just gonna do negative 30 on both of them because this was my sweet spot that I found. And I'm just trying to get you guys to actually see what worked for me. And maybe this won't work for you, but if you try it and it does, thank goodness, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, I have the open threshold at negative 30 and the close threshold at negative 30. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the minimum length, pre-roll, and the post-roll. For the minimum length, it's very, very simple. This is the shortest piece of audio it will keep. I usually leave this pretty low unless I'm cutting drums. So let's go with... Let's do 0 0.3 seconds before the actual vocal it comes into the threshold. We want to do about 0 0.3 seconds. And then for the pre-roll and the post-roll, these are important for keeping the natural flow. Pre-roll adds a little time before the sound starts, and post-roll keeps a little after it ends. And this avoids cutting off breaths and sounds of like reverb tails and anything like that. So let's do... 250th of a second we'll do that on both sides so basically on this side it's going to cut it off and on this side it's going to cut it off and let's just hit apply and see what we get nice this is exactly what i was going for so if you zoom in really close here you can see that we have a fade in right here and it's giving us that 250 second pre-roll before it uh, fades into this so it's not fading it in all the way to that and cutting off the vocal performance and then it also gives us that fade out or the post roll at 250th of a second as well. As you can see, there's nothing being cut off here. You can move this back a little bit, move this up maybe a little bit uh, just to clean up things a little bit. But I mean, honestly, this is exactly what I was going for right here. And let's look at this. All the way at the end, we have one more that we can do right here. It missed it at the end. So we'll just pull this over right here just to get that fade out. And that looks really, really good. So let's listen to that real quick and see if anything is being cut off from this vocal take. Oh, dirt roads. Songs on the radio. We will never get old. And we lose ourselves. And nope, there's nothing being cut off. And even in this one right here, we are losing ourselves. You can hear that selves. And that's what you're, you're fearful of being cut off. So make sure that even if it, it if it does cut off this little this little part right here, we can actually actually uh, make this a little bit wider. You can see that if 
this was a little bit farther. You see how that waveform is starting to get smaller and smaller and smaller? Well, that's starting to cut it off. So then you're going to hear the vocal performance, and then it's going to start to fade out, and you're not going to get all of that. So make sure that that's pulled uh, correctly to what you guys are actually wanting for your vocal take so that it doesn't cut it off at all. And that's it. It's very super simple. It's very super powerful. I recommend doing it in the manual mode. Strip silence is one of the fastest ways to clean up your takes without manually editing everything. I used to edit everything in Pro Tools. I used to go by and just delete every little space, and it took forever. And this right here saves you a ton of time. If this has helped you, please drop a comment below and let me know what you guys are working on next. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Studio One tutorials and how to become an independent musician. That is what I focus on on my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And until next time, go out there and create something amazing.